This project is all about simple moves and intelligent thinking. The owners are a young couple looking right. to start a family. When they bought the house, they loved the light and they loved the size of the house, right. but there are a lot of things that weren't working for them. So essentially, we tried to rationalise the plan internally, putting all the bedrooms and bathrooms on one side of the house and keeping all the living areas on this side. Okay, so you've moved the kitchen from that side of the house to over here. Yeah, and then the funny little dining space that was in here, we converted into a walk-in pantry which now has the fridges and the laundry and lots of extra storage for the kitchen. It's almost like the TARDIS. <laughs> yeah, it is. But it also means that this area can remain uncluttered. OK, so from the garden, I really understand it. That's your living fun space and that's your more private, intimate courtyard. Yeah, that's right. And we created these two outdoor rooms. One connects to the living space and one to the bedroom space, but they give you a completely different experience to being outside. Yeah. It's its own little room yep. that's open to the sky and there's a lightness and transparency in the screening. I love the breeze block. Yeah, I love the breeze blocks too. I think all architects secretly love breeze blocks. Oh, uh, really? And what goes on there? Well, that's just like in the kitchen where we hide all the necessities of suburban gardening life. So the um, water tanks, the hoses, there's a veggie patch out there. But it also connects these outdoor rooms to this area and creates um, a courtyard in the garden, which redefines the suburban backyard. What Eva Marie has done by reorganising the floor plan inside is allow for a far better connection to the great outdoors. It's what Sydney climate allows for and people aspire to.